Okay, so I'm going to be comparing Bovada versus DraftKings and going over which one is best. Now, I wanted to start things off with Bovada because they've been a member longer here, and they've also been operating slightly longer as well. So Bovada has been around since 2011, but they're owned and operated by Bodog, which has been around since 1998. Pretty crazy, huh? Now, Bovada is playable in every state within the U.S. except five at the moment. And the reason you can play Bovada in just about every state is because they operate in Canada. So since they're located in Canada, they don't have to abide by rules for businesses that operate within the United States. Now, I've been a member here for years. They've got online poker games, casino games, a huge list of sport betting options as well. And for my own personal preference, I play a lot of online poker here. But I also do, you know, the sport betting every once in a while, if maybe like a big MMA fight comes up or maybe like a celebrity boxing match, I might throw some money at it, right? Now, uh, I do want to come back to Bovada, but I want to start talking about DraftKings. Okay, so DraftKings was started in 2012 as a daily fantasy sports site. Since then, it's grown into a full-fledged sport betting operator. Now, they also host casino games. They still do the daily fantasy sports, but for me personally, whenever I play here, it always has to do with the sport betting. Now, one of the biggest drawbacks to DraftKings is that you can only play here in 13 different states, which is a huge bummer. It is very likely if you're watching this, you're probably not going to be one of those states because the odds are against you. Fortunately for me, I'm in Illinois, so yes, I can play here. Now, I imagine in the future they will up and open up to more states, but once again, because Bovada is located in Canada, they don't have to play by the same rules as a company who operates within the United States. So what I'm getting at here is that Bovada is clearly the better option. Now, once again, Bovada has that credibility. They're backed by Bodog, which has been around for over 20 years. Um, they have the same things here, sport betting, casino. And Bovada also does online poker games, which are fantastic. Cash outs are also faster on Bovada via cryptocurrency. And whenever I've you know had to do a cash out on Bovada, I've been paid out sometimes in under an hour. Now, I've also cashed out on DraftKings. But it takes longer, guys. It just does. Um, and once again, it might have to do with the fact that they have to just operate by more rules and regulations. Okay, I also forgot to mention, if you wanted to check out either one of these sites, I'll have some bonus sign-up and resource links in the description. And I wanted to end things with a couple poker hands here on Bovada because we are a poker channel and only makes sense. Now, the hands I'm going to be going over were from a previous session earlier this year in a 5-10 no limit game. Now, this is basically the highest games that I play online. Uh, I play a lot of 200, 500, no limit. But every time I've been playing the $1,000 games lately, I've just kind of been getting my butt kicked. I guess the competition is just a little bit better at these levels. But you know, I think the 200 and $500 games are still pretty beatable. Now this first hand, I had a king seven, but it's the second hand we're going to check out where I put a massive bluff in on somebody. And it wasn't um, exactly an easy thing to do. Now I completely missed this board. I mean, there was a heart out there, so I mean, like, runner, runner possibilities. Turn card was a seven, which gave us a pair, you know, so we got something at least. All right, queen on the river. Not feeling too confident about my hand. About 80 bucks in the pot. And we lost that one, and it is what it is. Now, this hand was pretty ridiculous. Um, I put in just like a massive bluff with King-9 suited. All right, so I called the $25 uh, raise here. So player three put in a massive re-raise, and I could have folded this, but I wanted to see a flop with it just to see if I could outplay this guy. And I like doing this, man. I mean, when you're playing higher state games, it's really about outplaying people a lot of the time. I mean, you're going to get caught sometimes, but, you know, it's online poker. If you're not bluffing, you're probably not winning. So we had absolutely nothing on this flop. Really, the only thing I could be looking for here was runner runner flush cards. But I also realized that it was very likely that this guy had a pocket pair based on how he was playing this hand. 
And because I called the flop so quick, I could try and make it look like I had a jack in this situation. So get ready for this. This was such a sick play. So he bet $250. I re-raised to $500 with absolutely nothing. That takes some balls, guys, but it actually worked out for us. We took down the pot, and yeah. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions about Bovada or DraftKings, feel free to message me below in the comments. Tap that like button if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next poker video.